I'm just trying to figure out is it Kiana? Key, what what the hell is it? Because it's this Kiwana. Point, Kiwana, Kiwana is everybody Kiana. got it wrong. She kept correcting them, and I was just lost. <laughs> it's with the Q, baby. Okay. It's what we, it's we, 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 we just know, we just know it's with the Q. <laughs> <laughs>
of people, people in general, and sometimes friends, close friends, where you they're stubborn. They they both of them wanted, wanted an apology. We find out that uh, Robin is actually a Libra, which is interesting because it's interesting. I'll just say that I don't I don't get Libra from her. I don't know. I don't it's get just, Libra vibes at all. But um, maybe she's close to being a Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio, so I'm not bashing Scorpios, but. She has a little in because sometimes, you know, I'm I'm be like, listen, I'm not gonna apologize to you. But in this case, yeah, they're supposed to be best friends. And I'm keep on saying best friends yes. for a reason. Keep because that quote. Keep when the it air comes to that, that's we gotta go ahead and you know take that jump off your shoulder and give a damn apology. She could have did it. I think I think the conversation could have went a whole lot better. Um, and then you know, after that, Crystal kind of you know gets more in her feelings is just saying, like, you know, I feel like with you, I walk on eggshells and I guess this is her. This is her finally, you know, admitting that she has walked in Robin's shadow and she's allowed Robin to do a lot of things to her, which is okay. And Robin is dismissive of it. I'm like, okay, this is another issue here because it's like y'all are supposed to be trying to reconcile. Y'all supposed to be having a moment where y'all are trying to get back to be friends. So both of y'all should let those guards down. I know this is the first time y'all talk, but if y'all yeah. truly care about being friends, that's kind of what you have to do. You know, somebody got to eat yeah. the shit. And at this point, both of y'all hate the damn shit. But. It just gave off that they really not friends. That's it's, all. It like just you showed said, more you truly, and more that they're not friends. Yeah, Come if on. you truly care about it, you would just let the guard down. I think what really stopped the argument was like a bug was crawling or something behind <laughs> somebody. Well, like, well, Kiana came over too. Kiana came over and she's like, "Hey, uh, my vent's over here. Get back to my vent, bitches." <laughs> yes, or go out, or go outside, please. Thank you. And so they went outside. <laughs> And they, because you see them coming back, you know, after they talk. So they they did kind of make up, but honestly, this is just a very toxic friendship. You know what I'm saying? It needs to, to end. It's it just, yeah, it's like a relationship of a man and a woman, or a man and a man and a woman, or whatever it is. That is just this probably should not be together. It just shouldn't be. It they shouldn't be, and that's okay. Poor communication. You can't horrible. be. You can't be so scared to be by yourself or not have no friends that you just stick with some. You stick by somebody you don't even like. Yeah, yeah. Because they just don't like each other. Right. Now, before they left, this is the most interesting part to me because this is, we, we I think we talked about this. I don't know if it was you and I, you and I and Jasmine, but we, one of us mentioned this back when the issue happened. You know, Crystal shares that she didn't know that Kiana had an issue with Robin until that moment, that day. And I was waiting for the Bravo flash. You know, Bravo was short the flashback. flashback. It ain't Bravo, it's on, but they went right on to that flashback uh -huh. where she was having a conversation. Because if you're watching the damn show, you clearly, this, you know, the first time she filmed with Kiana, Kiana was telling her of she her didn't... issues with her. Yeah. And I think one of us mentioned it a while back in early recaps that she could have gave her a heads up. That's what the friendly thing would have been to do. Yes. yes. Um, but Crystal said she didn't know. And not only did they show that, but they showed the situation where Kiana was going at her and Chris on the side like this. Mm. <laughs> she yeah. on the side like, it's almost like she want to say, get her. <laughs> get her, Jay. That's the exactly. vibe. I mean, fake. Just fake. fake. I mean, at the end of the day, fake. we can have the conversation in circles, but Crystal, yeah. I mean, yeah, Crystal fake as hell. Yeah. And Robin is, is crazy. So Yes. Robin is crazy and I like I said I enjoy her but she does things and there's more she does this episode that's like oh god Robin I want to like you so much but you just keep doing stuff and yeah. I, I like you enough but Jesus I want to love you a little more but you just something she she just she, she's a very you. headstrong woman and it's just yeah. like she is in her ways and it ain't changed it's, it's not gonna change I mean she remember she's the oldest <laughs> child when you that old you don't change you don't change at all you don't so I, I, th I think Overall, I, I'm over the story line. Yeah. I, I'm glad we kind of scooped past it. Yeah. I hope we don't come back to it. Oh, okay. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. So we got a little cough chat. Hold on. <coughs> it ain't COVID. Beep, beep, beep. All right. Let me take a little water. Hold on. Come on, lean in, mug. Yeah, get missing. These mugs will be, will be available very soon for those that are watching. So if you're interested, Stay tuned. Um, so then we get a glimpse of Robin and the very first client that she sold a house to on the show. I thought that was refreshing. Um, I thought that was nice. It ain't many times that we get we get like a you know a revisit of what's uh, happening. Update, yeah, you know, an update of 
not only the property, but what it looks like and how they're doing. So I thought that was really nice. You know what I'm saying? They, she seems to be really, you know, personable with her clients. So that was nice. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on that? No, no, I think it's nice. It was, it was refreshing and it's, that turns into repeat client because yeah. you get your dream house, then they'll buy the, yeah. order the keep their relationship. Yeah, you'll buy you'll buy the other properties, you'll buy the rental properties, mm -hmm. and investment properties and stuff like that. So it does keep the client around, which is nice. And if they're YouTube stars or or influencers, you know the money gonna keep coming in. So I want yeah. them repeat client. That's true. Okay. Well, then we get um Tiana is showing another home. Tiana is on her shit. I will say she hadn't sold anything yet, but I do enjoy watching her. With her clients, I will yes. say that one one reason why she's, she's one of my favorite. She's about her business. She's not really in the drama, but she has a client, and mm -hmm. I guess they're looking for like this country style home. Mm -hmm. They want some more acres. They it's only five acres. They want thirty five more, and yeah. all that. Um, but the house was cool. It wasn't my taste, but they seemed no. very really pleased with it. Well, it was the, the comment was weird. She was like, "We weren't finding what we were looking for in the city." I'm like, "Would they had that in the city inside the city of Atlanta?" No, you gotta go for that. You gotta go far further out. Like there's that's what I was thinking. So I was like, of course you didn't find that in the city unless there's yeah. a part of Atlanta, downtown Atlanta. I ain't never seen before. Correct. I go Atlanta all damn time, and I, I ain't never seen no house like no better than eggs in the city either. So hell, help me out. Help me understand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So then we get Kira again, and at this point, I'm starting to think B Simone is Kira's only client. Now I th I know she's trying to help her, but I would like to see her with other clients. I don't know if nobody else can film, but we thought that you know. So B Simone did close on a home. We saw mm -hmm. that like two weeks ago on her Instagram page. I saw that, and I thought the last place was, but it looks like this may have been the place. Yes. Which mm -hmm. I actually really like, and I'm glad yes. she told that because. I just feel like the first one, no, it was a mess. The second one was a little better, but I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know B Simone's age, but I feel like they were just a little too young for her. Uh, especially, I feel like she, if you want to, if you want that kind of home, sure, but I feel like this may be more her speed because it's very modern. It has a rooftop, and I don't know what area it was in. I didn't really pay attention at that, at that, at that moment, mm -hmm. but um, I think this is how she went with it. So if she did, I'm happy. I'm glad. This, that was a good This thing. is what I was talking about. Yeah, this is what I was begging for the whole time. That's why I was like, oh, I, I don't think she closed on that last one. I don't, I, it couldn't be that last one because the last one to me was a bigger ver a version of the first one. This is a townhome. It's grown up. You in your thirties, girl. Yeah, and that's something I'm saying. I think she's in her thirties. Yeah, I think so. I'm 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 almost for certain, but don't quote me. Allegedly, she's in her thirties. How about that? <laughs> okay, allegedly, because we ain't about to be yeah. suing me. Mm -mm. Okay. Not of no age, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I I really liked this place, and that's what I was saying. Like, give me a little luxury, give me a little. Mm, yeah, some give me home, so give me home, give me you know, first time by. I'm. I just feel like yeah. you know, there's nothing wrong with that. It, but for known, the first two properties was given. I'm gonna buy these and rent them out for Airbnb. Yeah. Not living them. She was looking for a home. Uh, yeah. you know, I'm not. I don't know if it's forever or for a little bit. Home, whatever kind of home she's looking for. I think this is more of what she was asking for. So hopefully, this is yeah. the one she chose. Was Kira finally did a good job? That's Ooh. all I got to say. Because she was she was fumbling the bag with me earlier. Yeah, child, Bull tried to attack me just now. <laughs> I don't know what that was. It's the hat. <laughs> I, I guess I'm at the rodeo too, child. With these bugs. <laughs> um. So then we get a scene with Robin and Crystal. Mm -hmm. This is after their makeup. And uh, in this scene, I was looking for fun, you know, trying to see, like, okay, just how they are best friends. And know. although it wasn't given fun, I feel like it was probably the closest we're going to see with them having fun and showing some type of best friendship. Um, but they are, Crystal did make a comment. She said that she feels less composed. With Robin, like she's not so, I guess, I don't know what she was trying to say, but I'm just like, you kind of, you are very calculated in general. I don't think this makes you any less. It seems like you're more calculated with Robin, but she, she basically wants, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna, I was going to say, she was trying to make it seem like when she's a Robin, when she's around Robin, she can let her hair down. Because she, she definitely lets her hair down. She lets her messy hair down. But I'm and like, you clench up around her because you're scared she's gonna fight you. Very much so. 
<laughs> you're triggered. It's always your trigger. You're triggered. You're trigger. yeah, like, you scared she gonna ta 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 on you. So mm -mm, I don't know. I don't understand that kind of shit. Whatever. Next. Me neither. But in this scene, she is back on this poly stuff. I guess Kira didn't bite the apple. She ain't going to the poly party. So she wants Robin to go to the poly party. And uh, by the conversation of it, it sounds like Robin is like more so no, because she is like not really for it. You know, it's interesting seeing Crystal talk about the person that she's talking to, talking, talk, you know, talking to or whatever, how he's into it. And she, you know, she talks like she is like, listen, women can do this thing. Like, we got this. Men can't do it. We can't. And I'm just like, I don't, Crystal, you don't give me that kind of girl. I feel like you will be a little bothered too. Or I feel like something about this, like, I honestly felt more with Robin on it. And because it's like Robin was saying, like, you should probably like let the thing with the, with the guy go because this is yeah. not something that you want, that you, at least that's not something maybe she's portrayed that she wanted. And to be at her big old age, too. Right, right. So I was confused by that. Um, uh -uh. Yeah. I just I don't try it's giving trying too hard. Yeah. It's, it's trying giving, too hard. It's, it's getting and weird. it's getting weird. <laughs> you can't be that desperate to be with no man. I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's something about this that, that something about this that doesn't seem authentic. From, from her. It's I don't not know because is. usually at like I said, at that big old age, if you wanna play around with another woman or another man or something. You've explored it at mm -hmm. least, and this isn't your first time being like, "Ooh, what I did." Yeah. So you know you you know yourself a little bit at, at this age, and yeah, if this is popping up, it's giving desperate because you want to you don't want to be by yourself. It sounds like she's there. doing it more for the person than she yeah. is herself. That's what it. That's what I get. And I think that's what Robin was trying to say. Yeah. Well, basically, was saying like, "Girl, drop it. Find you somebody else that wants more of what you want." Versus doing more what he wants while yeah. thinking you're going to play the game and play him. And it's probably not going to end that way. You're going to play know? yourself. You're going to end up playing. I, I think Robin's mentality on the whole thing of relationships and men, although, although not being in one, is probably more accurate and realistic than what Crystal is thinking in her head. Because that's. She thinks she's about to do. You're not about to. You're just not going to be happy. And you can never really play. You can't play with yourself like that at the end of the day. Polly, you're not cool, whatever. Right. Not knocking that, but you got to know yourself. And Crystal clearly just don't know herself, and especially within a relationship when you're trying to appease some man who has a girlfriend who has a husband. Confused, honey. Confused. I'm confused. They confused. We all confused. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal confused. Robert confused. Robert like, why am I here for this? Don't do it. Yeah. Um... So after, after they talk about that, you know, Robin kind of circles back and Robin is like, okay, so what's going on between you and Tiffany? And, you know, Crystal kind of like, she tenses up. And she's like, I mean, I don't really know her like that. I don't I don't know her. I think she has a problem with me. And I'm just like, in my head, first I'm like, Robin, girl, why would you even bring this up? You know, like you're trying, if, if you really are trying to be, get back friends with this girl, like, why are you bringing this up? Because you know there's an issue. It's clear there's something going on. She yeah. already told you the first time when when you when she pitched the idea of the ultimate girls brokerage. Yeah. She said gave off as if she didn't know her and she'd have to basically you know talk to her or something like that before you know circle back because basically it, it wasn't the, they didn't have much of a relationship. So yes. asking this again, you know, especially after meeting with Tiffany, it's kind of weird for Robin to do, but um. Like, I just think that this is just maybe like battle of the closing attorneys or something like that. Because neither one of them, we're going to talk about, you know, Tiffany's side too. Neither one of them are giving, any, giving us anything to go off of as to what the issue is. So yeah. one, all we can really assume is that it's just something related to being, don't both being in a bit. Like there has not been, I mean, they meet next week, which we, we're going to talk about next week. But as of right now, I'm just lost. And I, I was, before they... Before I saw the end of the episode, I'm glad that there is a meeting. I'm like, at this point on the show, if we're gonna keep talking about this, they need to make them sit down and talk about it. Then first they need to learn each other's names. Then 
<laughs> then they can talk about it because I yeah. feel it's still giving me that they don't don't nobody really know each other like that or yeah. it's, two, it's two groups that don't know each other like that and then a couple people trickle it ain't even them. two groups for real for real because it just seems like it's three groups it's like it's three groups and it's yeah. it, it's it's Kiana and Kira Kiana knows you know kind of everybody she's more so yeah. Not in the middle, but she, you know, it's still her and Kira. So you yeah. have Tiana and Tiffany who are really close, right? And then mm -hmm. you got Crystal and Robin who ain't close, but they're close. Close. <laughs> close. So it's just it's kind of weird. And so um, you know, Robin made the comment, she was just like, she doesn't think that Tiffany has the issue with Crystal, she thinks Crystal has the issue with her. And she makes the comment in her confession and says, Tiffany has everything Crystal wants. And I was like, ooh, you know, Robbie, you said a lot of things. You said this in the confessional, which is <laughs> it's in the confessional, so it's later. But then earlier, don't forget, she said that, you know, she felt like uh, Crystal became her friend because she didn't want to take a man. Her man. Well, the not, jealousy thing. There. The jealousy thing. And so. It, and now know. it's. It's you got somebody wants something that she got like just pretty much pretty much her life and it's yeah just it's like, like that's weird it's pretty weird <laughs> okay girl I mean it's fine if that's if that's if you want to walk around she made a lot of bold statements if you want to walk around being delusional that's fine but walking around saying your delusional thoughts takes it to another level yeah yeah I don't know so we're gonna get the Tiffany side. Cause at the there's a birthday horseback riding event with only the Libras. I thought it was interesting that they they didn't they did not invite Crystal and Kira. I get why, but uh, it would have been nice to have them all there because we're not we're not we're we're not getting many group scenes. Mm -hmm. If you watch reality TV like you and I do and many others on the lane, group scenes is where it always goes down. You know, this one was a group scene, but I wish that Crystal and Kira could have been there just to add to more to it because. Um, you know, basically, one thing I want to say is in this scene right here, I thought it was interesting that Tiffany had not talked to Robin because she was like, you know, she was like, I, I didn't, I didn't talk to you at the event last last time I saw you, and I thought they were getting out to be like some not like best friends, but it seemed like they were going to start hanging out. But the, I guess the only interaction, unless there was film, unless there was more filming, was that when they met after the big altercation, you know, Tiffany yeah. and Robin. So. She just, you know, I just thought it was interesting that they hadn't talked uh, to each other. They met again? I, I think, no, they, I, I didn't, we didn't see them meet again. One, sometimes they film, but you don't see the scene. That's true. That that could have happened. The other thing is, not that they were trauma bonding, but it was given trauma bond a little bit. Yeah. So, and you kind of want it. I look at it like, I guess they were just bonded out for that and that was it. Yeah. You want to ease, kind of you don't want to ease into that. Like, you're not going, oh, we messes now because we both got mental issues. But then, what you would know? be the whole purpose of Tiffany meeting up with Robin? Just, just, I mean, at this point, is she trying to piss Crystal off? I'm just saying because it's like, okay, you met with her to talk about this, you know, y'all sharing, get y'all, y'all, this is a deep conversation at this point. Yeah. Y'all are sharing y'all trauma, which would, I'm not saying y'all gonna be besties, but it would make y'all at least. Let me check in on so and so. Let me see how she doing. You know, so y'all are y'all ain't just bonding off of random TikTok, Instagram. Y'all yeah. bonding off of something. So you would think that it would be a little more to it. That's just, yeah. that's just what I feel. I don't know. I, I thought they would. I say yes and no because if you do meet somebody with the same traumatic experiences, you you might be like, ooh, I don't want that to be the only thing we talk about. However, well, I th but I'm saying I think that conversations have opened up some other conversations. Other conversations. Maybe they went out and did right. some other things, and you know, she, you know, maybe she started working with her as a closing attorney. I mean, I don't. That's I what don't I was know. thinking. Anything. I was thinking that might come up later, or they were just busy because they actually do work. Yeah. Well, all Robin do is walk around, go sit on folks' furniture and town countertops, and she go and harass her, her clients and stuff like that, and. We ain't really seen Tiffany do much, but take teach her son how to drive. I mean, that's it. So and send her child off. But according to Tiffany, because in this scene, um, you know, she's basically when Crystal brings no Crystal, when Robert brings up, you know, what's going on with you and Crystal, like was there an issue? Tiffany was like, Listen, I'm just busy, I got all this going on, I got kids, I don't have to, I don't know her like that, I don't think about her like that. Like, mm -hmm. I just got too much going on to be having an issue. Ain't no issue over here. 
And when people say stuff like that, it's like clearly there's an issue. When there was somebody go, the, when the first thing somebody says is, "I don't know her." Typically, you know of her, you know, you know enough, and mm-hmm. you form some kind of opinion to where you just don't like the person. And it's yep. like, you, you, you don't have to. You know can say her. that. Yeah, you can say that. And, but she I, did I, say, "I don't know her enough." What did she say? I don't know her enough to. The first thing she said was, "I don't know her." They both said they said the yeah. same. They both gave yeah. a variety. I don't know her like oh, that. I don't know. I don't, her. Know, I don't know her. Then they, then they both went. She went into more of you know. I don't know her. I got things going. I'm not thinking about her. And yeah. the other was just saying like she thinks it's a pro- she thinks she has a problem with her. I'm like, well, shit. At this point, my head hurt. What is going on? <laughs> I under I will say I I kind of understood what she was saying. Like I mean I can't even like you be. <laughs> If I I know we're supposed to have a beep or whatever, but I ain't got there yet. Like, give me some time. Now, so sometimes I, this is very true. Sometimes a person can be beefing with you and you have no clue. Yeah. But that ain't this. And I, I think it's just some, there's something else. And we're going to find out next week. It was, I mean, I think overall it, it was how, she, I think it was how she was treating Robin. And Tiffany just didn't like that. She didn't like her. So you think that I mean, Robin yeah. is the is the core of the issue now? I don't think that it's the core of the issue. However, when you when somebody shows you who they are, you gonna believe them if but, you're smart enough. But it's okay. So, Crystal was upset that. So, Crystal was upset that Tiffany, you know, had Robin's took her, back. had her side right. Yeah, you know, she went into defense mode about that. She said she nobody knows Robin but her. Blah blah blah. Tiffany sat with Robin and she mm-hmm. did take her side, but I don't feel like Tiffany grew to not like her more based off of that, you know? Mm-hmm. It's not like but Crystal- and that's why that's why what Tiffany said will makes makes more sense because she didn't yeah. necessarily have a problem with it. She was just like you was wrong. She didn't but she, but, and, but she also didn't go to Crystal and be like she ha- she hasn't made any like comments directly at Crystal, mm-hmm. Crystal has made comments at her and said, like, she needs to stay out of it. She yep. needs to do this. She's done that. You know what I'm saying? Tiffany's not innocent necessarily, but she hasn't really done anything. Like, even when she sat down with Robin, Robin led the conversation, you know? Mm-hmm. And, you know, remember, Tiffany actually still being friends with Kiana, she kind of still took Kiana's side in the yes. moment, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I think Tiffany's kind of innocent here. I just wish she would say more because there's there's something there's something going on between it's, i think it's brewing i feel like she was like damn i thought we were gonna leave her shit today my bad like yeah i don't think you know, she you had just, to talk about i mean it's a reality tv stuff so girl every time you can't be you gotta be ready you and can't i think, be, I don't I think have everybody you need to i have think had time. that been a group scene with everybody it would have went a different oh yeah way right and then you see it does kind of well, it does kind of that's all, yeah. So that's what we're gonna get to next. It does go there, it gets worse because basically, you know, in her saying that she doesn't have time for anything, she don't all she think about is her kids, you know. Um, Robin is just like, you know, I agree. Crystal will understand that because she don't have any kids, and then Kiana, Queen Anna, whatever she called her, um Quinana, Qu- Quinana, Quinoa. <laughs> Just terrible. It's upset, it's- and it's basically like, now, hold up, now I don't have any kids. Now hold your, hold your, hold your statement, and then you know, um, Robin is just as like, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking to you about you. And she's mm-hmm. like, she's actually said her name. She's like, Kiana. Is it Kiana? Key with a kid with Kiana. Kiana is like, what the? Kiana. Um. So I want. So what's your thoughts? Like, because Kiana, I understand like both. Robin was coming from a superior mindset in saying like she don't have kids she don't she don't and then robin was just saying like you know i'm speaking about crystal so what are your thoughts I'm, i, I want to hear yours first i'm on i'm I, I understand both of them like they both have valid points because it's like damn i'm standing right here i ain't got no kids but i understand that you busy i'm busy too like you don't have like it's not that because i don't have kids i don't understand or have priorities elsewhere because that's what robin was was trying to say mm-hmm. however i ain't got no kids and i don't got them problems right now because i don't have no children so i do understand i i get what robin was trying to say but i also get what kiana was trying to say i think they both have valid points because at the end of the day robin wasn't talking to her or about her you just so happen to be there 
I wish you weren't here to hear what I said so you wouldn't have gotten offended because I meant what I said. Okay. I'm, so overall, overall, I'm on Kiana's side. Overall. I am overall on the Robin's side. <laughs> yes. And that's just because what so where well, I understand Robin is that, you know, the cover the, the, the statement, okay, yes, it does apply. You know what I'm saying? If you're watching Real Housewives of, of Miami, you know, a couple weeks ago, Larsa made a comment about one of the other housewives having a child with Lock. You know what I'm saying? That's a statement that encompasses a lot of different people. Yes. So you have to be careful because there was someone else, if you're watching it, that was at the table that what that had children out of wedlock or whatever. And so she was offended too. Yeah. That's totally fine. You can yeah. be offended. I feel like she was okay saying that only because of the context in which she was saying it because she was referring to having an issue with somebody. Basically, like when you have kids, not necessarily when you have kids, you're not thinking about that. But what she was saying was she ain't got kids. She wouldn't understand that. Yeah. Unfortunately, like you said, Kiana was there. Yeah. Um, and she heard it. She got offense. You know, of course, she's having fertility issues. So yeah. she has a different type of, it's a trigger for her. It's and a she trigger. She was triggered very yeah. much so. Um, now, where I think Robin was wrong was instead of just kind of apologizing and being like, you know what, I, I, I didn't mean it like that. Mm -hmm. She kind of did make it because at first I don't think it was her making it a, a you know a superiority thing. I think it didn't get there until she said she made a she made some comment and she actually made it worse. Worse. And it's just like exactly. And that's, that's the only reason. Like, oh, Robin, mean. girl, you 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 lost me because now you you proving her point. So now she kind of right, even though she still triggered. She you making a she right. Yeah. Because it could have opened up a completely different conversation because we know Robin doesn't know about her fertility issues right now. So then it would open the conversation yeah. to, well, you know, I'm just going through things right now. And so I was triggered by that. And, you know, it just, it could have, it could have turned into something actually really nice and beautiful, a great conversation. But because that bullheaded Robin, she's bullheaded. Yes, yes. She's she doubled down on her bullshit. And, yeah. I, and, I, and that's who you are. So we just going to always bump heads. She she doesn't know how to dial back. She, it's it's okay to be I said what I said. Yeah. But you don't want to be I said what I said all the time. I feel like, you know, even though Kiana was, you know, upset, triggered, whatever, she could have dialed it back. You know what I'm saying? Even while saying, you know, I wasn't referring to you. I yeah. apologize for offending you. Because she don't know her story. So Kiana yeah. can't expect Robin to, um, to, if she hasn't shared that, she can't expect her to. And obviously, you know, looking at the show, that's probably why they show the clips of that last week because yeah. they basically were getting us ready for this so it can make more yeah. sense, you know what I'm saying? But all it really shows for me is that, you know, Kiana was just triggered by it. And yeah. I hate it that she was, but I don't think Robin had any, you know, malintent. I think that's where that's where my favorite phrase comes from. Intent versus impact. You know, her intent yeah. was not bad, but unfortunately the impact, it, 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 it hurt her. So that's where you kind of yeah. have to be like, I'm, I'm sorry for offending you. Yeah, so... There's nothing wrong with saying, you know, I I didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> exactly. You and, and keep it at also, that. So I apologize for that. It's also, but it's also sometimes hard to do that when a person is so round up, you know what I'm saying? And you, you are a headstrong person. So it's like, instead of them kind of getting upset, you know, they round up and you, you are already a, a, a bull. So you like, Somebody get brought, you you very confrontational. So it, I get it. It's kind it's kind of difficult to you know. Yeah. But I wish that's what she would have did because you know I thought they were getting on a better a better getting getting into a better place. But it also seemed like Robin was don't really care for her life the end of it because she made another comment earlier on how she was the queen and oh girl was the princess. Even with the whole comment when she was like with a K with a Q, she was kind of antagonizing her. And it's just like okay, so you're making this you making this a whole bigger issue. It's not even about this now. It's showing that you. Just kind don't of like respect it. her anyway. She got us all yeah. fucking up the girl name. We had it right at the beginning of the season. I thought we did, but at this point, now we all messing up. And if you're watching it, the clip for next week, uh Tiffany messed it up. Yes. Tiffany. Tiana messed it up too. <laughs> yes. It takes one person because then you'd be like, Well, what even okay, when Jazz when Jasmine messed up her name earlier, and I was like, Am I saying it wrong? Que Kiana, Kiana, Jazz. Kiana. Like, Lord Jesus. And I hate when I do that because I really now I'm like, damn, what is her name? I just want to call her Q. Just want to call her Q. Just say, say, child, just say, say. <laughs> she going to say, my name is Kiana. Okay. <laughs> okay. Kiana who ain't coming back. 
Now she ain't quamming bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like Lord that. Jesus. But um, no, I'm ultimately, I'm on her side with this one because Robin yeah. double down. Otherwise, yeah, I would be on Robin. She side. messed it up. She made she made it she made it difficult to to be all all hundred percent Robin. Even though I, I, you yeah. know, I am still like I get it because I've been there before. Where you like, listen, I wouldn't even talk to you. I'm not trying to offend you. Like, calm yeah. down. But if that person's still going, it's just like, okay, look, I want to talk to you, but now I am. <laughs> now come on over here, hat. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Um. And so that's where the episode ends. They're going to pick up next week. It seems like it gets even worse because, you know, earlier Tiana kind of walked off. She was like, oh, God. You know, and Tiffany is actually quiet in this whole situation while this back and forth is going. Mm -hmm. Tiana walked off. Tiffany's there. She's like quiet. These two going back and forth. And she, you know, she, you got uh, Robin walking up over here and you got mm -hmm. Tiana walking. Like, oh, that's a big girl. This is, this is interesting. I don't know now. You don't want to slap her hand down. I'm not no. saying Tiana already said she, you know, fight her, but still, she's a, that's the, Girl, <laughs> she might be, you know, fighter, uh, flight or fight, or what is it, fight or flight or whatever. No, one or two, she might fight. I'm like Robin, Robin gonna come with that energy. She's gonna be, she gonna come with that. <laughs> <laughs> they're not gonna fight. I don't think that's gonna get like that, but no, no, please not on the real estate show. What happens next week? Because, like I said, Tiana, Tiana gets upset. She's like, Kiana, Kiana, whatever, come ride the bull or something like that. And that was just like, oh, y'all didn't get so. I really want to see Tiana get upset because she gets mad. She got mad earlier, you know, when the crystal thing. And so you got it now. But yeah. I feel like Tiana, she has a lot to her that we just need to see. So there's a season two. I hope she is in the drama and not just in these houses. And not, the house is not doing what the show was, was built for. <laughs> now, what do you think about Kiana with this? And do you so you know she's leaving the show and she feels like the show gave her like a negative light, but um it wasn't that I, negative. I, I haven't seen her be that negative. I mean, other than not really. I don't know what what did she want to to show. I don't get it. So. I don't know because I mean, every time she's always had valid points. She just been a little wrong, and maybe that a little wrong she don't like seeing. I don't know. I'm sure it's hard to watch herself be a little cuckoo on TV in terms of like be wrong and be a little bit more, a little different than yeah. what you you know not to have the edit the, the edit that you want what you want. But, but she hasn't been loud and wrong. No, like, he's seen loud and wrong. Yeah, she, she just right. been a little wrong sometimes. Yeah, like anything, I can see Robin being like, uh, 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 uh. But I mean, what you see is what you see. Yeah. Whether you're doing it for real for the camera, it, it's happening. So. Mm. And right. it'd be nice to have her back, but I, she said she ain't coming back. You know, they ain't got another season yet. But all right. That's fine. Bye, Kiana. Um. So then next week we have the we have that the rest of the bull thing. And we also have the um, the sit down between Tiana and Crystal, which I'm ready to see. But it seems like one of them storms off. So that's pretty much all for this episode. It, yeah. was, it was a pretty cool episode. I, I enjoyed watching it, and we're getting close to the finale. So, um, you have any last thoughts before we lean out? No, I mean, just I'm just I'm I'm really glad she showed B Simone a big girl house. That's it. Kira. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad too. I'm, I'm happy she's now. I want her to show another client a bigger house. <laughs> now that we close this one, yeah, you can listen work multiple, but I guess, I guess because she ain't got no kids, that's probably why she ain't got time to be. Or <laughs> well, does she have kids? I don't know if she has kids. I don't know. I don't think I'm not sure if she does or not. I don't know. I, I know she broke up with whoever she was with. That's all I know. After, after she left Mattress Firm, right? But that's what she said after the fire. Okay, oh the fire. Okay. After yeah. the fire, not the firm. Oh, okay. Well, on that note, we're gonna lean out. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching this recap for Ladies Who List on this episode. Giddy up, and we'll be here next week for the next episode and the finale. Jasmine will probably be back because she had to I'll be gone. I'm, I won't be here next week. Ooh, ooh. Okay, well, dang. So will somebody be here to talk about it next week? Um it's make sure y'all okay. Make sure y'all like this video. Um, and support the channel. You get notifications if you subscribe and hit the little bell down there. You know, you can subscribe for one, but if you hit that bell, you get every pop up when, when there's a video posted or a comment or not a comment, a poll or a post, you mm -hmm. get notifications. So support the channel, subscribe, yeah. like this video, and let us know in the comments what you thought about the episode. Who is your favorite now? 
And uh, we'll see y'all next week for the next episode. Y'all have a good rest of y'all Wednesday night. Good night. Good night.